How's it going everyone? This is Shadow Tuner 1030 and today not only are we here to start a brand new year but also go over a brand new event schedule for Dress World Live. I know that the New Year's event schedule is about to end but wait until you hear what the new event schedule has to offer. Be sure to not go anywhere because there's a lot to cover. So without any delay, let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you take a look at the screen next to me, the theme for the next event schedule is going to be Wild Carnivores. It's going to be from January 4th until 10th. Let's first go over the 50 creatures, then we'll go over side towers. From Wednesday to Thursday, you'll have Opportunity to Dart, Velociraptor, Tarbosaurus, and or Allosaurus. They have hybrids. The one I recommend darn the most is Velociraptor. Reason is because it spawns less in the wild than once. Friday to Saturday, you'll have Opportunity to Dart, Puma Scorpius, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Moros Androdus, and or Titanoboa. Like I said with the commons, these ones have hybrids. Even though that both Puma Scorpius, Moros Androdus, and Titanoboa are event exclusives, but I recommend use your attempts on Puma Scorpius. Reason is because to build a grind DNA for its uh, unique hybrid Sun God Scorpius to level 25 in case if it gets Apex hybrid near future. You may never know, Ludia could surprise you. Sunday you'll have one attempt to dart either Thylos Androdus, Alberta Spinus, or Forex. These don't have Apex hybrid yet by the this video. I recommend use your attempt on Thylos Androdus. Reason because both Alberta Spinus and Forex are easily obtainable thanks to raids, even though you won't get much DNA. Next week, Monday to Tuesday, you'll have Opportunity to Dart, Dire Wolf, Alberta Saurus, Pyroptor Gen 2, and or Carnotaurus. Like I said, with the common and epics, these ones have hybrids, even though that both Dire Wolf and Abertosaurus are event exclusives, but I recommend use your attempts on Dire Wolf. Reason because to build a grind DNA for its unique hybrid and a Connex to work towards the Apex hybrid and the Lycan. Getting to the Strike Towers Wednesday, Standard Common Friendly, Standard Rare Beginner, Rare Strike Advance, and a Standard Epic Experience. Thursday, Standard Epic Beginner. Standard Rare Beginner, Sense Strike Theme Experience, Stat Boost Strike Advanced that will focus around damage. Friday, Standard Common Friendly, Standard Rare Beginner, an Epic Master Strike that will focus around Moral's Androdus. You also got yourself a Standard Epic Experience. Saturday, Standard Epic Beginner, Standard Rare Beginner, Rare Strike experience and you also got yourself a stat boost strike advanced of focus around health sunday standard common friendly standard rare beginner an epic expert strike now next week monday standard epic beginner standard epic beginner another one surprisingly not sure if it's a typo but we'll see anyways we also got ourselves a Sense Strike theme that will be experience along with a rare strike that will be advanced. Now Tuesday you got standard common friendly, standard rare beginner, ep an epic expert strike, and a stat boost strike advanced of focus around speed. Now going over of what creatures I recommend darting. That's all the cover for today's video. Now let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on every cover here. Are you looking forward to the event schedule? Which feature creatures are you personally planned on the most? Let me your thoughts. I'd hear it. Hopefully, you all did enjoy today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Channel to subscribe bell for more content videos. And as usual, see you all in the next video. And until next time. <laughs>